Young Shy Beats. What's going on, family? Man, I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day. Um, I am out and about this morning, actually on a test drive. So, uh, trying to see how things are going. I changed the trans coolant lines. Let me tell you what happened, guys. So, um, when I was having a leak in Liberty, uh, and I think I mentioned this to you guys before, I didn't know what was wrong. Initially, I thought it was trans coolant lines. Um, and then it was hard to tell because of smell, by smell, what was going on with it. Um, so when I took everything apart, I noticed that the filter was very, very loose. I was able to turn it with two fingers. So I made the assumption that maybe my leak was oil. The interesting part was it didn't just smell like oil. It didn't really smell like oil alone. <clears throat> So even before that, I thought it was the diff. Yeah, I was I was bouncing around every possibility because of the way the oil was splattering and on what side of the car was splattering. <clears throat> so once I realized it wasn't the diff that I thought, it was the oil filter, I changed the oil. I'm thinking we are in the business. Took the Jeep for a drive. I think the first real drive I had was the church church. And then I literally did not leave the house that week. So the, the Jeep was parked that whole time. I didn't notice anything when I was at church, but when I got home, I noticed oil again leaking. I'm like, what is going on? I know the filter's on tight, but I noticed one thing very specific. Now the oil was 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 uh definitely red light transmission fluid right so it drew me to the conclusion i say all that to say that i believe that i had both oil leaking and transmission fluid leaking at the same time which confused me on smell um and had me chasing you know going down the rabbit hole trying to figure out what was going on with the with liberty man but we've gotten both taken care of so I thought, you know, based on at least the the uh, the person that I saw, he he thought it was a hard job to do. Um, it wasn't hard. I didn't think it was hard at all. In fact, I thought it was a real simple job. I literally did this in less than an hour. Um, and the hardest part that I had, or the most, the hardest part I had was threading the lines back into that little uh, distribution block on the side of the transmission. Uh, it just was awkward. Um, that was the hardest part. I think one of the bolts or one of the lines were a little tighter than the other, uh, but that wasn't anything that I felt was a big issue. I added another wrench on and pull, and you know, I got a little bit more torque and we got it off, no problem. The only annoying thing was the, the transmission fluid leaking out of the car while um, taking those uh, lines off. That was absolutely annoying. But other than that, it felt really straightforward. Um, we got it done, that's the plus. And I'm taking it out for a ride. I put, I put uh, after servicing the transmission, something like that, they recommend putting four quart quarts in. I'm probably still a little low. But I want to drive it first, go through the gears a little bit, and then um, come back and test it and see where we are. But I think we got her done. I think we got her done. So I'm on a drive. I did not break out the camera because I was uh, just in this hustle mode of getting it done. Uh, apologies for being so selfish, guys. But um, I just want to get it done. I'm just trying to get through it, chop through it. I had a couple of other things that I needed to do and I didn't want to go through the juggle of fighting the camera and also messing with this car. Not only that, but I was full of transmission fluid. That would not have been fun on the equipment, not by any means. But we got it done. We're going to drive it and we're going to test it and um, we're going to see how things are going from there, guys. Give me a second. Well, I'm a little perplexed. I'm still getting a drip from somewhere. I just don't know from where. 
And I don't know if it's residue from, you know, what was happening before. But uh, we get home, we're gonna take a look at it and see if we can find out what's going on in this Jeep. All right guys, so here's what we are. I went to the car wash real quick and I wanted to spray down everything that, that could come and leak and be anything that could resemble trans fluid. And when I got home, as you can see, we had a little bit leaking. And I try to trace where it's coming from and it's in this area. Now we changed the, the uh, coolant lines and I checked the coolant lines and they're fine. Um, and it's definitely transmission fluid leaking from the front of the motor. My only other thought, and I'm probably gonna have to get me a second opinion on this because I feel like I'm chasing this rabbit down a hole, is that the coolant line goes into this radiator and that top section cools the transmission. And you see the heavy bars up at the top, that's transmission cooling, that's regular cooling. I think that is the problem. I think that might be the problem because the leak is forward. The leak is not in the back. And as far as I understand, the transmission cooling lines are the only lines that bring transmission fluid forward. There's no leaks in the back. There's no leaks in the middle of the motor where like a seal would be. My only thought is that the possibility of my culprit could be this radiator. I think that might be the problem. Um, I had to break out my simple green and get all this oil off the floor and try to figure out what's going on. And I feel like I'm just discombobulated. I'm at a loss almost because I feel like I was on top of where this was and what was going on. And everywhere I turned, nothing. So, I think what we're going to do is, um, might have to hit up Roger or somebody, man, or or just go through the process of taking this uh, radiator out. At least get closer to it. Um, I'll have to move this this tank. It's just two bolts and the clamps, clamps, and it'll come right out. Um, and then see maybe if we can see any transmission fluid leaking from in that that area um it just it's got me a little swamped a little perplexed <sighs> so we're gonna figure this out um i need to clean up my mess i'm gonna put a little simple green on that so we can make sure that that doesn't stain the floor or, you know create any other problems and then um I guess we'll dig, guess, dig into this another day because right now I really can't solve this problem. I'll see if I can get an appointment with Roger, man. Um, maybe this week or maybe the end, of the end of the week and see if we can get in and try to get in Saturday, see if we got any available time on Saturday so we can get in and, and at least explore that. Um, I'm on the fence if I want to mess with, go at the radiator first. I might just do it just to to take that peace of mind out of my head um, and see if I can tell if there's anything leaking from me in that vicinity. Um, if it is, of course, then we I think we may have solved the problem. But um, until then, everything's a mystery. Um, not going to do that today. I'm just not in a place to mess with that right now. Uh, I got a couple other things I need to focus on, and there's no place I need to be right now. So we'll probably do it tomorrow, maybe. We'll probably dig into it tomorrow. Um, start taking the front, taking everything down. It's real simple to get to all this stuff. It's not that hard, man. Like it's just a couple of clips. I got a screw on this side, a screw on this side, and this thing comes out. Um, I might take the light out just because it allows me to see this area a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you can see that block right there is where the transmission cooling line goes into that, into the, the this radiator area. And it's snug. The washers are in. 
Um, again, we'll probably check that again and make sure. And I don't see anything. Because you will see something dripping from over there. Nothing's dripping. Nothing's leaking from right there. So, oh, man, I don't know, man. We'll figure this out, though. I can tell you that. Listen, guys. As long as we got the tenacity in the wheel, we got God on our side, man. We can get almost anything done, man. For real, for real. So we're not gonna let this beat us. We just gonna deal with it the way it is right now. But uh it ain't the end of the world. No, no, it ain't the end of the world. We're gonna, we're gonna keep grinding, guys. Why is that? Man, because we were designed from greatness. And y'all can see the snow is melting. Ah, thank goodness the snow is melting. Miss gonna miss the prettiness of the trees. We got this crazy crunch of this snow that's trying to go away. We're going to miss the prettiness. Look at that deer. See, man, this is the kind of stuff I have in my backyard, man. Look, a couple of them. A couple of does making their way through. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, man, that's how you boy be looking. Let's see if we can get a close-up of them. I can see you on that tree, man. What are you trying to hide? Yeah. Love it when we have some visitors. Oh, all right, man, listen. Remember, guys, we were designed from greatness. Because we are designed for greatness, guys, you have the right responsibility to never be average. Okay. Don't be average.